So HDL is usually uh, described by by the physician as the level of H uh, as a level of cholesterol that the HDL particle is carrying at any given time. But then you can take the HDL particle and you can break it down into uh, a range of sizes with a larger size of HDL particle being a healthier type. And what that the larger particle of HDL reflects uh, a very important function of HDL, and that is this thing called reverse cholesterol transport. So when reverse cholesterol transport is occurring, that is, when the HDL particle is taking cholesterol back from the periphery to the liver, which is a healthy function. Um, In fact, if I can just interrupt for one second, just so people really understand what that means. Right. You know, H these, H these big HDL particles are taking cholesterol from the periphery, meaning even cholesterol plaques that have been on, that right. are on the artery right. and removing them exactly. and bringing them to the liver. And it's so, 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 there, so there's two basic types of lipoprotein particles. There's those that contain this thing called ApoB that's on uh, LDL, VLDL, and chylomicrons. And the function of that type of uh, B-containing apolipoprotein is to deliver uh, lipids to sites that need it, whether it's for uh, growth or whether it's for repair. And when the vasculature is being, uh, I guess, affected by chronic injury due to either high blood pressure or chronic inflammation, it needs uh, these, these building materials to be delivered from the liver or from the, from the circulation. But when all the repair is done, then you can, you can take that cholesterol that's been deposited in the vasculature and you can remove it. And if the net effect is removal is better than deposit, then your arteries never have atherosclerotic plaques. But if, if uh, you're depositing it faster than you're removing it, then you accumulate lipids in your blood vessel and that leads to atherosclerosis. So the point being, there are these uh, range of HDL particle sizes. If they're large, it means that reverse cholesterol transport is occurring. When there's inflammation that is driving cardiovascular disease, that reverse cholesterol, fun uh, cholesterol uh, transport is not occurring and the HDL particle remains small uh, in, in general. And so what the Cori bar does is it takes um, the profile and it shifts it towards the larger particle. And that informs us that what the Cori bar is doing, it's helping to improve the activity of that HDL particle. It's, it's making it function better. Yeah. See, people kind of naively thought cholesterol is bad. We have to get rid of all our cholesterol. But cholesterol is an important uh, player in your metabolism. You can, if you didn't have any cholesterol, you'd die. So it's getting the right particles and getting everything tuned up for a healthy metabolism.